everyone, welcome to Hedgehog Hollow. So today I'm following on from our super popular stamp cleaning video. Now I talked all about different stamp cleaners, how to clean them, how to prepare them, all those kinds of things. And I had lots and lots of questions from you about the stamp chamois or the tidy towel, or can you just use a regular chamois? So today we're gonna to be trying that experiment. Now I have my own thoughts and opinions, but I'm gonna be sharing with you a couple of different options you have and also about storing the items too. So I'm just gonna take a Hedgehog Hollow stamp. This is my I love you to the moon and back, which I did for Tilly because she loves the moon. So we did a celestial box, which was super fun. So I'm just going to ink it up with amalgam ink. Regular ink I use all the time. And we'll stamp it out to simulate some of the ink going. And now you're gonna to want to clean your stamp. So what do you do? Now here I have a brand new stamp chamois from Lawn Forms is what it looks like. So when it comes, it comes in this packaging. It has an inner package like this. And it feels a little bit leathery. Um, and all you do is go and submerge this into water and it's ready to go. Now, my preferred option is the tidy towel because yes, this is great um, and it cleans just fine. Um, and you can pop them in the washing machine, clean them, everything. But I don't like the fact that it's this beautiful teal color and it instantly goes black. So the Gina K one already comes as a dark gray. I thought I had a brand new one, but when I checked my stash, I couldn't find it. And I keep it in one of two things. So one option, this is the Lawn Fawn Stamp Chamois case. So this pops off the bottom here. This pops on the top and you can see that's how it goes together. It has these open areas for your chamois to go in and then this pops off, goes on the bottom. The idea is you can put a little bit of water in the bottom here, only like maybe less than a quarter of an inch or like an eighth of an inch. Um, and that goes in the bottom and it kind of keeps your towel moist because it keeps going into that moistened area. Um, it will last you a whole day of crafting. The other option I really like, and I've used this for years, is the uh, coconut. So that you can see, if you leave your towel out, this has been left out for a couple of days on my desk upstairs, it goes solid, but it's still perfectly usable. All I do is I crumple it back up you can either take it to the sink and clean it. And as I say, I put mine in the washing machine. I don't put it in the dryer, I just let it come out and dry naturally. But literally a few spritzes of water and it starts to become supple again. Um, really, really simple. So just moisten it back up, really easy. Quite often I'll just say to Maddie, go run it under the tap for me. Um, but I also like that if I'm doing classes and they've gone crispy, I literally can just take my water sprayer and now this is becoming really nice and supple again and I can use it. So if I take this and I don't use any stamp cleaner, I literally just use water, make sure it's reasonably moist. You don't want it sodden, you just want it to be moist and it kind of just feels um, Nice, so you just clean this off. And this one's a little bit grubby, it could definitely do with a trip through the washing machine. So just clean that off like that. I'm gonna just show you on a piece of paper, that one's a little bit wet now. Just take this. And you can see, my stamp is pretty clean. So that's option number one. Then as I say, tie the Lawn Fawn Stamp Chamois does exactly the same thing. I find that actually my tidy towel lasted longer than my chamois ever did. I replace this probably like once every six months if that, and you know how much stamping I do. So I like the tidy towel if I was gonna pick one, that's the one I go for. Um, as I say, there's a chamois case or this coconut. And the thing I like about the coconut is I can leave it open like this when I'm crafting, but then I just close the lid. It's actually a salt cellar, I'll link it below for you. Um, but that little bit of gap means it doesn't go moldy and it does stay moist probably for a couple of days, whereas this is only gonna last me maybe one or two days. Now. Of course, lots of you asked me about the chamois. So I went to Dollar Tree and I grabbed myself a chamois and I've tried out a couple of things. So when you get the chamois, you get a big one like this, actually comes, it's almost a little bit moist when it first comes and the tidy towel is the same. The chamois isn't like that. Uh, the Lawn Fawn stamp chamois is not like that, but the tidy towel is also just like, it just feels just mildly moist. I don't know what they put on it, um, but if you leave it out, it will go just as crunchy as anything else. So this is a brand new one. You can see I put new on it. I just cut a piece off and I left it out in the open just to see what it did. Um, it also comes in a little case that you can keep it in if you want to. I also, this one, I wet it and I dried it and then I wanted to just see. So it goes crunchy like the um, tidy towel. I'm just gonna re-wet this with my spray bottle exactly the same way. I'm just not doing it on my table so I don't get all my cardstock wet. This did take a lot more water to um, activate 
than the tidy towel. You can see I'm still spraying it. My hand is pretty wet, but this isn't ready yet. So um, it needs a bit more moisture. Okay, so that's pretty wet now. Now I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. So I'm gonna take my amalgam. I'm gonna stamp it off once just to simulate my stamping. And this same piece, this is the wet and then dry. I'm just gonna go over my stamp. We'll take a piece of paper. This one's a bit wet, but it's okay. And we'll stamp down. You can see there's a little bit more left behind. So kind of personal preference. But one thing I don't like about these is now I instantly have a dirty looking towel. Whereas if my towel is gray to begin with, I don't really notice that. So that's just a personal preference thing. But I do like these two containers if you do wanna go down the route of using a chamois towel. I think that the tidy towel definitely has a different property in the sense that it takes less water. It's not um, as pooling as using just a regular car chamois. So you still need like a piece of towel or something just to like take off any excess. Whereas I don't need that when I use my tidy towel. So personal preference for me is using a tidy towel, but I wanted to show you can use these. It's just a slightly different process and some things to think about, but I would suggest one of these two containers depending on what your needs are. I'll link everything of course below for you so you can check it out. And you can join me tomorrow for another tip trick tutorial or maybe something a little bit different. I can't wait to see you. In the meantime, hit subscribe ring the bell, hit the join button. And if you enjoyed this, give this video a thumbs up. It really does help us and we really appreciate it. So see you tomorrow. Happy crafting. Bye.